a step towards progress as Ethiopia begins power generation at its Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. The first turbine will produce a maximum capacity of 375 megawatts. The uh, design of this dam is a bit different than conventional dam design. So while uh, increasing the dam, we impound and we start generating. We don't wait to the completion of the full, uh, the full level of the dam to be completed. So gradually, while increasing the head, we are uh, generating. Uh, so this is the first unit based on this principle. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is said to be Africa's largest hydropower project. At full capacity, the dam will generate at least 5,150 megawatts of power. But the dam remains a project of concern to neighboring Sudan and also Egypt. Egypt depends on the River Nile waters and has been skeptical that any activity on the Nile would reduce water downstream. As you can see, this water will be generating power while flowing like it previously flowed to other countries like Sudan and Egypt. Unlike the previous rumours that said Ethiopian people and the government are damming the water to stop Egypt and Sudan. Together with Sudan, Egypt has been asking for a legally binding agreement on the operations of the dam by Ethiopia. Talks between Sudan, Ethiopia and Egypt over the operation of this dam kind of stalled around April last year. Sudan and Egypt wanted the United Nations to get directly involved in the matter, but the UN said it would support an African Union-led process. Professor Jacob Orsano is on the negotiation team. In, in the first place, it was not a proper negotiation. It was a dialogue. It was a conversation. It was trying to find what is the real discourse and what is not a real discourse. It was not a real type of debate, I, I mean real type of negotiation. So Egypt and Sudan opted not to be positive and engaged. But at the same time, Ethiopia has always opted to engage, to invite them from the very beginning that they understand and that the project would proceed and that the project should not be prejudiced that it is anti-Egypt or Sudan. Egypt is accusing Ethiopia of making unilateral decisions on the dam's operation. Ethiopia insists that it stands by an agreement that already exists by countries that share the Nile waters. Ethiopia is determined to get more turbines running and by 2024 complete the construction of the dam.